<laughs> I don't know why, but you said Monokuma is a pretty advanced AI, and I had the, the vivid vision of somebody grabbing him and throwing him into the middle of a lake. <laughs> I'm telling I've never oh. seen it. Uh... That's so annoying. Oh my god. We actually have to talk to him twice. Because the first thing is only one part of his reaction, and then the next thing is the, ne the next oh part. Oh my god. That's I hate this so stupid annoying. fucking reaction mechanic so much. It makes no sense. I... So, is there really proof? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. It's all clear. Evidence that Genocide Jax is the one that killed your hero. Exclamation point. <laughs> what did you say to me? I swear, we're in the library he's gonna whip out a book. Oh my god, they're gonna I, do that I exact same game peg. Very different things. Uh, ah, uh, hey, you two. Oh, what's me? Ah! Oh, big Jesus trouble. Christ, hey, need your help. help. I don't have time to play with you. We're busy. Leave us alone. Bitch, what don't you understand about an emergency? Come on, please. You gotta help me. I love that. <laughs> They're just standing there. It's like normal. Anyways, this is a serious emergency. Please, please. You gotta help me. Just Bro, calm down. hold the fuck on. One it second, is the 10th speak. anniversary ah, of the final old. episode of iCarly. What? what? Ten? It's the 10th anniversary of the last episode it's of iCarly. I remember oh watching that show with my brother. I'm fucking old, Jesus Christ. Anyways, iCarly it's ended. An iCarly years ended. Years it's an emergency. What the fuck? Something's wrong dude. with Oh, Tokyo. now you She's realize? Super strange. Apparently, extra strange? I don't know. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange early. What should we do, Biapia? Very strange. He Princess noticed Toko, me. I must admit, I'm intrigued. Ooh, she was acting pretty strange. Hey, yo, she would love to know that. That's... I suppose we could take a second to see what's going on with her. You suppose, bitch, it's what you say? Maggie, why are you questioning oh, him trying to be trying helpful? To anyway, come on. Uh, you sure? It's because come he's on. being helpful that we gotta question him. Don't make me repeat myself. Yuck, You're I'm right. That's a lot. Right in the schnoz one day. Yeah. Said, come okay, on, come okay, on. come on, hurry! Go, go. Come wait, on, wait for us, come, come, come on, go, go. Let's go. No, mama's here. Really? It looks like she's heading to the dorms. Toko's room, most likely. I thought I said hurry. You're right. Y'all are hurrying. <laughs> oh, thank God, I don't have to walk all the way over there. Where's the room? There it is. Please, Why come am on. I just standing outside. Come on, that's not helpful. You guys are too slow. <laughs> You're just too fast. I love that we're wasting time on this type of conversation. So, what's this emergency? Well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her, she you know, dead. see how she's doing. But when we did... It was... weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff? That's fine. We should try talking to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. May as well give it a shot. Oh look, Juvie did a green Ding text. Dong. Thank you, thank you. swung open. Holy and silently. I worked hard. Can you say it swung open if she did it slowly and silently? Thank you. Thank you for noticing, Bianca. This is the prettiest yeah. she's ever looked. Ah. That actually is. Man, Nine. come on. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, Cue crap. the weird stuff. Bro, she had like 18 coffees. I mean, <clears throat> the aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door. Wasn't it? That's about it. You know, I think we need to get her to a hospital. I think that's what we need. Right. There's yeah, and how the hell do you know, expect right? us to do that? I don't know. Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that, uh, Hina, yeah, she was really worried about you. Holding, holding yourself in the room like that. Leave me alone. Um, yeah. Good sure thing. Could you just, uh, just open up for a second? We got a surprise for you. I won't allow it. I mean, like, I just told you, leave me oh. alone. If I open the door, I'm not alone now, am I? I won't let Genocide Jack have control. What the fuck? It's you. Why does she think she's Genocide Jack? There's no way. Is she right? Just like that, she slammed the door in her <laughs> face. It's a full moon, and at night she becomes Genocide Jack. No, Juvie. You wait, see, in the daytime, wait, wait, I have a secret. Oh in the daytime, God. I'm in the Toko. Daytime, she's so what was that? <laughs> She's been acting like that the whole time. When I rang a little while ago. Reenactment. I'll drive out the killer. Drive out the murderous fiend. To Denny's. Um, doesn't like make any sense, right? Pull up. I was afraid to leave her alone in there, so I tried to bust down her- Oh yeah, that's not gonna- Yeah, that'll help. <clears throat> but it felt like something was shutting it- What? But it felt like something was holding Peter really it said, on the oh, other Tosa, side. I'm respecting your privacy by knocking, but asserting my authority as your parent by coming in anyway. Oop. Yikes. Mm. Is someone oh, enough to do oh. bar her door? Does she think, does she think the same thing as It's me? always the quiet kids, let's be honest. Dude. You're almost there, Nagi. You You're that almost there. Does killer Genocide Jack really murdered you? Girl. You're getting real close. Like, even Juvie found out what it is at this point. What do you mean, even Juvie? Why would Toko so scared? I mean, We're to be fair, fight. it took you a while to figure out Leon a bit, because, like, you didn't realize <laughs> that it's spelled Leon upside down in the blood. <laughs> okay. Granted, you figured it out logically, okay. but still. Okay. That's fair. You know what? I'll take it. Okay, um, whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Is there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Oh no. No, not at all. Jeez. If only <laughs> there's somebody <laughs> who you. could figure it out. It's not like out. I'm dreaming about a boy in glasses and short shorts. Uh, I don't know about Fumi, the... come here. You know, <laughs> talk to Toko. <laughs> that doesn't match your description, maybe. You don't even gotta go in the room. Just I'll put a fan in front of you. Your pheromones, I'll what? just waft them in there. She'll come out. Ellipses. That's fine. There, whatever. He really said, I'm right here, got nothing better to do. Huh? You're gonna talk to her, Bianca? We have a murder Girl. to finish investigating. I guess it can be nice when you want to. <laughs> oh, my miss. They oh, she was so feelings. excited about it. She's like, babe, the world is being restored. Anyways. Yo, someone's having a party and I'm, I'm about to pull up. Bianca stood in front of her door, not making a sound. That's the door. Hello. Hello. <laughs> a really weak doorbell, I'm sorry. Yo, the she doorbell was tired. <laughs> it's been you a know, long- like, I never had to work so hard the whole time I've been here. Listen, I've never been wrong so many times. The doorbell times. has to deal with Toko and her crazy shit. I don't blame it if it needs a nap. That's fair. It's cray cray. For a few moments. I love that she still opens the door anyway. Leave though. me alone. You're all so fucking annoying. For once, it's not me. Just hustle, oh, Bappy. Go on, Stas. Bacula? I don't. He's like, oh, oh shit, Bacula. <laughs> it's me, Scott Bacula. <laughs> the 
This is so amazing. Okay, to me. Wondering how I got it. I Listen, I I'm sorry. I can't do what we did the other night. You know, it's just. Little busy Shout out right to everybody now. who remembers Benicula, the bunny vampire. Listen, of course. I remember ReZero. What we talked about, what we did earlier, we can't Not do that. I'll never okay. forget Benicula. But right now, I just can't, you know? Never again. It's not the same, but it's so much worse. I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. I'm busy doing crazy well, homicidal we girl shit. Girl, what do you mean by her, again? Was, but, oh, it's me. Well, no, she added ever again to it. Mm, oh, I meant, oh, Bacula or whatever. I forgot what it was already. Um, even Biakia couldn't pull it off. Damn. <laughs> There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. All right, ba uh, all right Bacula. <laughs> all right, Bacula. Bacula to you. <laughs> no. Hey, Bacula. <laughs> what was talking about this now? It's Scott Bacula to you. Panicula. What about a promise? What? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. Mm. What we did Thursday night was not an illusion. Oh, Oop. If I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. Oh, yeah. I'll just stay here and keep an eye on her. I love how her, her name is now Hina instead of Asahina or Aoi or any of She said it's that frame Hina. one. She said, call, my friends call me Aoi. I mean, call me Hino. No, she said my friends call me Hino. <gasps> oh myself. my god, Biakia, we're Biakia. friends! Oh my god! <laughs> I knew what? he could be nice to me. I really too. want you to know. I didn't catch any of that. So I hard. really want you to know that I caught 0% of whatever you just <laughs> yeah, said. None of that made it to the mic. <laughs> I said, oh my god, that means that we're friends, Biakia. I knew you could be nice when you wanted to. <sighs> I was gonna yeah, say that yeah, before yeah. you assaulted my Sorry. ears. <laughs> but, yeah. I was very excited. Well, well then, let's get out of here before she starts destroying our eardrums. She's know. like, I have friends. I definitely have friends. Oh no. That's, yo, who sang that song? <laughs> hey, yo, that's an OD ass song, bro. <laughs> friends, friendy friends. Time to that's an OD friends. ass song. Bacula, wait. It's Scott Bacula. <laughs> Yo, Benicula, yeah. hold up. Yo, yeah, that's an ODS song, bro. Who said that? Hina did. <laughs> no. Hey, yo. Hina has friend. At least. I don't talk to her. Yeah, Sakura. Times, exactly. At least. I see her as a Maybe mere more. daughter of mine. A daughter? What? She is a child of mine. I have adopted her. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought they are literally all that. the same age except for Hero. You've never adopted someone in high school? Man, you cray cray. Yeah, I had an army of freshmen. Like, un underclassmen, yeah, confirm. but not people in my grade. I adopted Charlie. In any case, I tried to talk to him several times. I don't think times. that works like that. I don't think you did. But he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. He just kept walking towards his destination. You've reached your destination. Finally, his feet brought him to a stop in front of a certain room. And then it's like, nope, you gotta find out next I time. I just got reminded of the Ghost Adventures intro where at like one point they're just like, are You've reached your final destination. Library. Hell! Juvie called it. Felt that. We are the for library. the library! You now have to scream quietly. The library? The library! More like yeah. the library. What? <laughs> we got there and it's like, Donde esta la biblioteca? I can't sell our people to take out. Oh, oh, come on, let's go in. Do I have to? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Yes. You must progress oh. the story. Why? Because I said oh, so. That's okay. lame. Uh, is this the evidence that it was... A is this the evidence that proves it was Genocide Jack? That yeah, was really the I was watching him licking my lips the whole time. Don't make me say it again. <laughs> oh, I guess we're... Um, investigating uh... uh... Oh, check the archive room, I think? Oh, oh no. that's fair. Okay. Lucy's nice. being chill about it. If I remember, on the other side of the door. 
Oh, the first, the first motive. The videos. What? The first motive, the videos, right? What about it? Is that what we're gonna look at right now? No! Oh. Okay. <laughs> what does that have to do with... How else would he have proof Anything. that Genocide Jack is a student? Oh, what? It would Whatever just show Genocide Jack's yeah. motive video, I guess? Anyways. Well, we're about to find out. Hurry up and go inside. This is Rush. What do you mean, what's well, his rush? I don't know there if anybody times. else realized. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know if anybody else realizes, yeah, but we're time, time right limit. now. <laughs> we have to figure this out soon. Yeah, we all gotta be so Yeah, until now. Monokuma's bored and he's just like, alright, let's get this fucking over with, by the way. Yep. Monokuma got tired, so, so oh, he's taking here. Up. Let's go. It all makes sense once we're inside. I have even more questions. Whoa! There's so many books and products. And so much dust, too. So, in other words... I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. And there's one place Fine, dust. I'm not. <laughs> Looking at all this shit. Hmm. If you pay attention to your surroundings, you start to discover the value for yourself. Are there picture books here? <laughs> because I get it. There's so many <laughs> file stuff on the shelf. What's in all Freaking this? Green Eggs and Ham First Edition. Yay! Hey, I said it. There's so many file stuff That's on the shelf. Those documents are dangerous. Look, the, this one's one bitch, two bitch, dead bitch, new bitch. Oh, my favorite book. Dangerous. It's what I've decided to model my whole life around, you know? They, de they detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth were a commoner. You know they like members of the D or something? <laughs> no, I mean the ones with real power. The secret council controlling everything. Illuminati? Yo, Biakia has been listening to too much Alex Jones. Illuminati confirmed. Oh my god. But you know, it could be that too. If you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There are some very interesting people in there. Who's gonna disappear us in here? Me. We've already been disappeared. Mickey. Yeah. I mean, right. Manukuma. You're kidding, right? I'll take a question, though. Who is gonna disappear us from Manukuma. here? Manukuma. Literally. What is he gonna there? doubly disappear them? Ooh, spooky. Am I? I'll just let it go. <laughs> Nag is just slow. His anger is just so festering. Oh my god. It's clearly not empty. There are papers right there. Lit <laughs> well, I guess that's not It's there. a wooden box. Although, judging by the smokers on the dust, it looks like there was something inside. Maybe papers. I wonder what it was. Hmm. There was an extension cord plugged in there. It, pro it, proved, uh, it proved very useful while I was in the library. Uh, an extension cord? What do you use it for? Oh, the lamp. A lamp. Hmm. Yeah. A ladder? Did you check all the shelves? I have to. Check the top shelf. Oh. I would assume. Check the shelf behind the oh. I don't think that was a clickable one. Thank you. Huh? That's... Why is it full? Yeah, see? There's the extension yeah. cord right there. In that image. Oh, bad. Oh, yeah. It's the same one I saw Byaki using in the library. What? Do you have a problem with that lamp? <laughs> it was here before. Then I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. That's fair. Nice! Oh. You got a mono coin. Oh yeah, we spent all our mono yeah. coins last time. Mm -hmm. Now we only have one. The shelf is stuck tight with wires. What's that really thinking about? Think we're a radar. Hmm. You have a sharp eye indeed to select that file. Oh. 
Oh. That's right. That's oh. the report on a presidential assassination. The original oh. is kept at the National Alliance of the Kennedy. The National Bro, Library. you have the file on who killed JFK. JFK. Oh my god. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it yes. now? Well. There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in for peeking at it. It doesn't matter. Give me the info. Huh? With the video <laughs> silent, I return the file to the show. But, but, you know what's crazy? That he recognized that exact file from across the room when he's been looking through all of these. I don't know your name. How much? He probably just memorized. <laughs> Probably just memorize all. That's what I'm saying. I know he's been in the library game. for a minute, but jeez. There's a ton of thick shit. Can we skip this part? He's all thick and he's like, no thank mm -hmm. you. If you're thinking of looking through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic, disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. Give us the details. It's the kind of thing any normal person wouldn't ever want to look at. I want to look Proving at it. He's not normal. Oh, huh? what do you mean? I all those files there are investigative investigation reports relating to different cold cases. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh. So, are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? Aside from JFK, I can't think of anything else that like would be uber famous and be here. I'm sure there is. It's just comment down below what you think is in this library. That's not. Uh, the entire reason I was interested in this library is because of this room right here. It's home to classified government do documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? I think it's pretty cool. It could be. This can't be for real, right? If you're into that shit. Such ignorance. I think it's pretty cool. That's your guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your pre preconceived reality, you label it a lie. Well, that's not it. It's the just moon landing it's on not like there. I totally refuse to believe it, but I have no evidence saying that this is real yet. The so is weirdly actually defensive read some about of these this. Books. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just so much. How could have anyone have put it together? Hmm. <laughs> Suppose it goes to show just how much power Hope's Peak truly wields, or perhaps <laughs> the mastermind may have wanted to provide it. The mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to that keep us from getting bored. That second part, I disagree with. The whole, point of, the whole mm. thing that would entertain oh. us would be the death game, supposedly. So I don't think this library and things like it are here to entertain us. Well, no, the death no, game isn't supposed to entertain them. It's supposed to entertain him, supposedly. I mean, yeah, true, but the entertainment still isn't the library is what I'm getting at. Well, I'm pretty sure he meant that's a joke. But he can make those? It's no use. I can't keep up with all this. Just too unreal. What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like this are usually impossible. What? What do you mean, usually? He said, bitch, I look usual Usual? To you? <laughs> usual? Normal? Ordinary? Simple? Those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. Okay. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. Your you don't blow your punches, do you? Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? But what, what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? He isn't ultimate. The documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there's no doubt. Well, no matter how many times you read a lie, it doesn't change it from being a lie. What does that mean? Hold on a second, you said you read all these documents more than once? But all this has to be top secret, confidential stuff, so why? Yeah, if I look at a paper that says 2 plus 2 equals 5 long enough, does that make that correct, Byaku? Yeah, of course not. My family has a reading room just like this at our home. It's bigger, of course, and not as dusty. Huh. Nerd. <laughs> I love the music here. Uh, Members of the Togami family have access to any variety of government-related documents. Why? Right. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. That's insane. Why? Why? I already told you, there's a secret council that controls the world from the Your shadows. Your family is a part of it? My family is a member of oh. that council. Thanks for asking. Oh, oh shit. Well, there you go. And... Asked and answered. And I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. 
prevent my lip. <laughs> yeah. But to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world backwards and forwards. So whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials are interested. You're learning how to be a genuine and nice person, not applying your studies. Genuine and nice are not real oh, things. Okay. Uh, there you go. <laughs> which, is, which is why I can proclaim without a doubt that the materials gathered here are the real thing. Beyond believing and not believing. Bacula is actually starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. <laughs> That's Scott Bakula, I said inside your mind. <laughs> oh, God. And what always interested me the most were the cold case police investigation reports. You know, like a psychopath. Reading through those reports has always been a hobby of mine ever since I was little. Yeah, I bet he was just like, I wonder who killed John Benet Ramsey. He didn't have A to Z mysteries, he had this shit. Mm. Excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of the, those cases just by reviewing the reports. That can't be right. <laughs> that can't be true. He for sure made that What's one up. That was the uh, ultimate asshole. Uh, Affluent progeny. Yeah, the ultimate dickhead. Ultimate Affluent rich progeny. kid. Yeah. And among all those reports, one of my recent favorites is the genocide Jack kid. So... Really? If you if you're such a fan, you just really want it to be because you're a fanboy. Hmm. Yeah. Proof. That was the longest, like, roundabout way of finally getting to the point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, holy shit. Low key. That's yeah. a talk. Sure. <laughs> That's what. Oh my God. This yeah. is the complete case file. Every single report surrounded, surrounding the genocide Jack cases has been compiled in here. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. He's gonna say it again. <laughs> yeah. How, how does it go? <laughs> the fucking the bizarre. Murderous, <laughs> fiend, bizarre, and brutal again and again and again. Yeah, that like the surface. Uh, to begin, there are two notable characteristics in every genocide Jack murdered. Number one, the genocide. The first characteristic is bizarre. Is that it's bizarre. <laughs> the second is that he's a murderous fiend. <laughs> is that in every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And the second... Joke's on you. Is that when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. This was written in the murderer's blood. That's why Toko's losing her mind is because of blood loss. Blood. And it's yeah, also she's been mimic. The victim's body is suspended. And it has lust in it. That's exactly the same as what happened to Chihiro. She got blood lust in it. Don't say it like that. Say it. <laughs> oh god. She got blacklisted. Uh, um, she got backwood. She got Scott back to <laughs> I can It was you all along! I can you. <laughs> you wanted it to be genocide Jack so much you did it himself. Yeah, he believes in himself. Save your surprise. The best part is yet to come. Oh? For the second characteristic, where the victims are suspended, the only ones who knew about that particular fact were members of the police and other higher ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found oh. out. Well, you knew. Well, yeah, but he explained why he knew. In other well, words, yeah, no one still. on the news. In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew the as knew that aspect of the, each crime. Only key officials and the killer himself know about this act of mounting the victim. Don't say it like that. <laughs> no, he... oh, say no. it how... Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse. That's the first time he was... Her body was certainly mounted in this faction. So for some reason, somebody else in this room knew and had access to that because... Okay, interesting. So, how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? That's right. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. It's Biakio because he Other wanted word. to be genocide Jack so badly. The, cop the culprit isn't a copycat killer. It's the real genocide Jack. Or someone, someone else is. who, for some weird reason, like you did, also had access to the information. Crazy to believe that that might be the case. Well, they all had access to it, but he spent so much time in here, I think he's saying that he would know if somebody else was here. 
No, I know, but I'm saying somebody. somebody well, for is some he reason saying that in like he had life before this... this also had access to that information? Like I know he's saying it's really yeah. weird for anyone to have access to it because they would have to be like a police or a higher up or whatever. But apparently not because he somehow had in like some weird convoluted way had access to it too. So why not somebody else? He's not the only rich bitch. Cause, cause he knows who would have it and who wouldn't. And to his knowledge, nobody here should have. He doesn't know their lives. Nobody here him. should have that information. Therefore, if anybody Other here does, knowledge, he doesn't yeah. know anybody else's life. What? He but doesn't know this. our lives. Well, that's a, that's what he's saying. That he does know their lives, and none of them shouldn't have this I information guess. unless okay. they're genocide jack. He's saying like, because he's like the. The, the ultimate rich kid, right? So he should know who the other ultimate rich kids are. So to be fair, is out of getting everybody at. who should know something like that, it should be him. Yes. I guess. I'm just um, saying, like, okay, what if, I don't know, somebody's, I don't know, something weird, like somebody's parent was a police officer who worked uh, on that case and somehow the kid came across the information they weren't meant to, here, like here's something the else. Thing. That, it that, doesn't have to be, that like, would be some weird, like, higher up position like him, too. Because that would be super That odd. would be information that he already knows, though. That would be information he already knows because he's been pouring through the case like that. Oh, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Okay. That right there is the evidence that Genocide Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. No. No. Then Genocide Jack really is. Don't believe him. Such a brutal, fiendish killer. Really is walking around a moment. Wow, he is so easy to manipulate. He said it again. He's he so thing. easy to manipulate. God damn. He did say the thing. Why do you believe everything? <laughs> because he said the <laughs> thing. He's gullible. Because he said the thing. Anybody who says the thing must be trustworthy. <laughs> it, must, it must be true. Oh god. Yeah. Things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? If Byakuya told Makoto to look up at the ceiling because it said gullible, you bet your ass he'd look up. He'd There's say how high. He's it. like, how high up do I look? He looks. He looks up. He says, Byakuya, it just says gullible. And he's like, I know, and he gets stabbed. Oh no! <laughs> and now he stabbed. <laughs> no, Byakuya gets stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Nagi stabs him. Anyway, I never imagined a killer with such a reputation would ever become part of our little game. Did you imagine that this game would happen at all? No, literally. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. I mean... If you get down on your knees and beg, I, I might even show you myself. Well, you. I'm going to stab why? you. I'm not, I have not unlocked that achievement. I'm so confused why we're here if he has all the answers. I, I don't understand. Because he's finally reached his childhood hero. He thinks that... In some convoluted way. And this is him trying to share that with He needs to like someone. share it with some- Oh, he's trying yeah. to make a friend! Yeah. God, I hate this. That's fine. Not everyone likes pools, okay? Well, you didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Yeah. I love that it says top seek. Top the reason why and no oh, one has bitches. My is bad. I guess I shouldn't open it then. Yeah, let me put this back. <laughs> Y'all can get. Oh shit! Actually, I fucked it up. Bakula handed me the file. I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand stopped. I had reached the page where photos from the scene of each crime had been collected. Are they gonna show us? Hey. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. No shit. That was scissors. That's OD. Oh my god. Such a sick, brutal killer. There are many problems yeah, that I see right Yeah, that's here. line. The names of Genocide Jack's victims ran off in several pages. Such bizarre, violent deaths. Ken Man, Harada, 32. Tetsuhiro Honda, Christ. Shoji Gaku, 23. Kano Issei, 14. 14? Damn! Yoshida, 30. Now let's review all of this. Komatsuna Taro. Take Fumigono. I'm gonna get more races as time goes on. Can we skip this? There was no end to it. Mm. But one thing became perfectly clear as hey, I didn't all know of the killers countless victims killed and suspended in the exact same way. Crucified. At the end of every murder. The word, oh, excuse me, at the scene of every murder, the word bloodlust was left in the victim's own blood. 
I didn't know you can read the fuzz. But they're being crucified in a different way, so. Eh? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe genocide giant doesn't have scissors. Fair. Uh, now take a look. Now take a look at the next page, and you'll find another interesting tidbit. <laughs> There's multiple pages. Why wouldn't there be? The next page. Again. Oh, find the results. Incredible. Words. All the crimes took place either on weekdays at night or during holidays, either day. What day is today? Okay. The most common okay. time for the killing to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Almost. Oh no, I take it back. It's Wednesday. Oh, okay. So it is weekday. So close. At night, though. Ooh. Weekday at night, though. There you go. Based on these facts, we could, it could be suggested that the suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely that there's any external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from dissociative Stop, identity. Stop, I hate this. BDB is pretty bad. I would say really how DID works, but okay. I think it's a fiction. It's not always accurate. But they always, they it's, always. Some might say it's never accurate. They, that's why it's called that's fiction. Always the. <sighs> yeah. This is it's it's inaccurate and it's cliche. Like that's too like. Ugh. Anyways, moving on. Well, it's not just that. Like there's you plenty of shit that they get away with just because it's fiction. Yeah. Yeah. The key point here is that the culprit may well have a split personality. A split personality? Like the kind of thing you see on TV? You know what? I'll, I'll even give it I'll give it two passes. This is fiction and this was back when we didn't understand as much about the ID. Okay. Uh, that's a double pass for me. Like it's still not great, but it's funny to get it Anyways. with the understanding that you have, with the other understanding that you have. Whatever. The mythical, misunderstood world of 2010. Yeah. Wow. So times. I'm part of an unbelievable story. Remember Tyler. But this one is way more unbelievable than anything else up this point. Remember having Obama as president for the first term? I miss that. Thanks, days. Obama. Simpler times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> remember Flappy I just remember this thing from the Boondocks. I can't talk about it right now because I will actually get the monetized for it. We'll talk about it later. Anyway, um, or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind is going numb. Genocide Jack case file has been added. Let's go. All right, we should get going soon. Why? The the line. Huh? Where we go? Hmm. Anywhere but here. We finish our business here, haven't Have we? we? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, he yeah. told us what he needs to know. Okay. Wild. I can't believe Biafi made a friend today. I think oh, I'm starting to finally God. understand why Nagi's the ultimate love. <laughs> After 10 years, I think I'm actually just not getting it. This is it. the exact second, yeah. What you were saying about like, oh, he didn't come across it, but this guy told him. If I think about yeah. it, this is the second investigation that he's literally been walked through completely. Yep. Yeah. By someone. Yakuya li so, Yakuya didn't take him as like an assistant. He's literally telling him, this is everything I know. I know. What a weird one. That's, Yakuya's, that's listen, crazy. Yakuya's trying to make a friend Which by is the same thing that Kirzo did for no it. reason. This guy at least has some type of yeah. weird motive, but she was just like, well, I think, hey. I think with yeah. Kyoko, it was to help Makoto face the fact that Sayaka potentially he needed betrayed someone to, yeah. his trust. Yeah, he needed someone that's to sure. She was trying to be nice and himself. like ease into it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, nothing's more nice than making someone investigate the murder of their best friend. <laughs> that, yeah. 
I, he, he needed someone because I mean, he was blindsided by by love and oh shit I have grief know. well not love per se but like he was something he needed someone to help him get past that so infatuated with thank you yes <sighs> in this case There's he doesn't stop need that something something Slang ever just come and, at you so hard you forget the like regular ways. <laughs> in which case, I can finally say that Nagi, his luck is stronger than Nagito, for sure. Because mm. if you think about it, this whole game is based on Nagi's luck. Oh, excuse me. I will find out who Nagi is later. I mean, I don't know about that. We'll I discuss that, that one at a later date. I I know about that because Nagito's luck is more like bombastic and immediate. Yeah, but that just means he's leaking it out everywhere like a fucking spilled milk can. <laughs> well, now he gets to drink his. <laughs> yeah, but also like his. it's such an insane <laughs> amount of luck that goes into Nagato's. Like so much shit has to be the way that it is at this precise moment in time with Nagato's luck. Whereas with Makoto, it's just like, uh, oh, I slipped on a banana, therefore I missed a brick that was getting hurled at me. No, 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 I'm saying that I think Nagi's luck is the whole game. Like the fact that he was never killed, the fact that he solves every case because everybody, everybody comes to him with all the information that is relevant to the case in every case. Like, the way Kyoko shows up, yeah, the way Kyoko shows up and says, uh, you know, all this, this is what I've investigated from the, from the murder case. The way Byaku shows up and says, you know, I think Genocide Jack is really a big part of this case. How I'm sure the next case are gonna be where somebody else comes up and says, Nagi, this is what I understand about the case, and he just has to go along with it. I think that is all his luck, instead of it just being, oh, he didn't get run over by a truck today, <laughs> or oh, he won uh, an ice cream more than luck. from the fucking convenience store. More than luck, I think this yeah. also ties into him being approachable. A person that they can talk to like you wouldn't go up to anyone else with an ultimate ability and be like well here's sell them all the information that. yeah i think i think you would that give... can be said for kyoko i think you're right i think that can be said for kyoko i think for byakuya it's supposed to be like a superiority thing i i think he's trying to make a friend and i think well he for one he friend. did prove him i'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, he did prove himself in the first trial, right? Because he was the mo the main voice of reason throughout the whole thing. So I think Byakuya's thing is, I want this guy on my side. Because mm. if he's gonna be on my side, he's gonna help everybody understand what I'm getting. Yeah. I think That's on some fair. level, Byakuya understands how he works. If he if he can't uh, communicate, yeah. then he can't function. But if someone That's else can true. communicate I I for him, yeah. What you're saying makes sense. That's the furthest he thought about, I think. Probably. I think that makes sense. That's why he, he's bothering with Nike. That's what I'm getting. Did you say the thing? Yeah, I did. Oh, oh, yes, I did. Well, actually, I'll... this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of, take care of before the last ride. Relating to your promise? Hmm. Huh? Just like that? Just... There is a night. Uh, excuse me. There is a night. I don't have time to play with you. <laughs> Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Get a life. <laughs> Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Oh. Move the investigation forward on your own. You said it's not like we're friends or anything. Or well, maybe. goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. It's not like we're friends or anything. Or maybe just as quickly as he asked me to join him, he cut me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. You know what? Just like you a know mistress. what, Nagi? Me too. Just like a mistress. You told me you you would divorce your wife. <laughs> That's exactly what he told me. That's exactly what he told Toko. And look at her, she's dead. <laughs> no, wait, I'm right here. All right. Wait. Chihiro, she's dead. He's playing all He's of them. So, yeah. That's why she had to go. At the same time, I'd uncover something really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack. That's the one that killed Chihiro. Cool. I can't believe that whole According convoluted thing could be like, you know, is like true in some degree. That this is ridiculous, actually. And that murder is a long ass theme. walk, honestly. That bizarre violent killer is one of us. Damn it, he should have said it's among us. 
the main hall. Then we went back upstairs to look at the library. Well, who is it? I have to find that out no matter what it takes. No, come on, Nike. And to do that, there's something I have to guess the I have to guess the rate. And to do that, there's somewhere I have to go investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene. The girls' locker room. I should check the boys' locker room too. And the others might talk to other info people that might find useful while I'm at it. I haven't spoken in a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick of talking. <laughs> yeah, I want to to speak. I need to find out everything I can. All right, I cannot believe that is only part one of the fucking investigation. Oh. That it took so long. I mean, no. you guys want to keep going? Because this is one. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's my bedtime. Yeah, we could mm -hmm. call it. Like, here's the thing. I understand that we want more characters to speak, but we kind of needed this for Biakia because like, no one liked him. But at least now we understand him. I still don't like him. You don't have to like him. Anymore. Well, I love Biakia. But like, he I don't follow, really but he know must that I understand him either. But sure, Jamil, whatever you say. My, my thing is, Cam. I'm not sure how much longer this is, and I'm not sure we want to go into the trial half-assed either. Uh, um, I can check. Hang on. I looked into it. Uh, there are six areas left to investigate. That's oh, oh. yeah. Let's not. <laughs> let's not even bother. Yeah. So we're gonna call it here. Um, I guess everyone will say our goodbyes. Yay. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I know I already did that, but like now, I'm not joking. You said that. Uh, Four times now. And I was not joking. The next time you said that, I'm ending the video. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Video's over. You guys stay connected. Bye. Stay connected. Keep trying. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye. And is it Thursday yet? <laughs>